Show me the map then. Know that we have divided in three our kingdom, and tis our fast intent to shake all cares and business from our age, conferring them on younger strengths, while we crawl unburthened towards death. We have this hour a constant will to publish our daughter's several dowers that future strife might be prevented now. So, tell me, my daughters, since now we shall divest us both of rule, interests of territory, cares of state, which of you, shall we say, doth love us most, that we our greatest bounty may extend where nature doth with merit challenge. Goneril, our eldest born, speak first. Sir, I love you more than words can wield the matter. Dearer than eyesight, space and liberty, beyond what can be valued, rich or rare, no less than life with grace, health, beauty, honour, as much a child e'er loved or father found, a love that makes breath poor and speech unable, beyond all manner of so much, I love you, of all these bounds, even from this line to this, with shadowy forests and champagnes rich, with plenteous rivers and wide skirted meads, we make thee lady. To thine and Albany's issue be this perpetual. What says our second daughter, dearest Regan, wife to Cornwall? I am made of the self-same metal as my sister, and prize me at her worth. In my true heart I find she names my very deed of love. Only she comes too short, that I profess myself an enemy of all other joys which the most precious square of sense possesses and find that I am alone felicitate in your dear Highness's love. To thee and thine hereditary ever remain this ample third of our fair kingdom, no less in space, validity or pleasure than that conferred on Goneril. And now, our joy, although the last, not least, to whose young love the vines of France and milk of Burgundy do strive for interest. What can you say to draw a third more opulent than your sisters? Nothing, my lord. Nothing? Nothing. Well, nothing will come of nothing. Speak again. Unhappy as I am, I, I cannot heave my heart into my mouth. I love your majesty according to our bond. No more, no less. How, how, Cordelia, mend your speech a little, lest it may mar your fortune. Good, my lord. You have begot me, 
bred me, loved me. And I return those duties back as our right fit. Obey you, love you, and most honour you. Why have my sister's husbands, if they say they love you all, Haply when I shall wed, that Lord whose hand must take my plight shall carry half my love with him, half my care and duty. Sure, I shall never marry like my sisters to love my father all. And goes thy heart with this? Aye. Good, my lord. So young. And so untender. So young, my lord, and true. So be it. Truth then be thy dower. For by the sacred radiance of the sun, the mysteries of Hecate and the night, by all the operation of the orbs from whom we do exist and cease to be, here I disclaim all my paternal care propinquity and property of blood, and as a stranger to my heart and me, hold thee from this forever. The barbarous Scythian, or he who makes his generation messes to gorge his own appetite, shall to my bosom be as well pitied, neighboured and relieved as thou. Thou, my sometime daughter! <laughs>